a changing of the guards going on with Terry Francona stepping down. But we're going to actually talk about players that would be okay if they left. Tony Camino there and Mandy Billman here. We'll do this one at a time. I'll I'll let Tony go first, and I'll give two names. Tony, your first name, players, you would be okay if they didn't come back. There's a longer list than you like, unfortunately. <laughs> but I think starting off with the top, uh, the most obvious one has to be Miles Straw. We saw him start now every day, basically since we traded for him. And he's got his positives as a defender. But even when he starts getting hot, it's not producing that much because he doesn't steal bases and he only hits singles, and he doesn't walk. So, yes, he gets from first to third really well. Yes, he plays good defense, but he doesn't really bring anything to the table offensively, and that just can't happen with the lack of power we have on the rest of the team. Yep, um, I'll I'll add it to 1A. Here's this about Straw. He can really defend, but he really struggles, and what bothers me most about Straw, he can't bunt. For a guy that fast, you'd figure he could bunt. I, it's very annoying as a fan. You can't bunt. I mean, if you can't bunt and you're not hitting home runs, I don't know what, what's going on. I'll add to my second pick um, is Oscar Gonzalez, SpongeBob. I've seen enough. His mm-hmm. defense is atrocious, and we don't need to say much about his bat. I don't understand SpongeBob. I'm so happy for him. I hope he carries around 2022 in his heart. He's a good guy. He was awful this year. Uh, I don't see it. Tony, I don't see it. Um, I think he needs a full year in AAA. I just don't see it. I don't. Unfortunately, with him, I I don't know. I've been I've been on that plane basically since we called him back up. His plate discipline is nowhere near where it needs to be. If he could just swing at better pitches, we saw what he can do. But he just he has no idea what he's swinging at, and it's unfortunate because you saw the pop. But yeah, I definitely don't would like to not see him back next year. Yeah. So what's your player number two, or do you want to give to Oscar Gonzalez and go for player number three? Well, we can go on from him. It's this one's. I think every fan in existence of Cleveland Guardians would say Cam Gallagher. There's no way uh, he might stick around. I think I don't think so. I think Tito held him a little longer than he probably needed to. I don't care if he was the best defensive catcher in the history of baseball. He puts up offensive numbers that are like unthinkable. <laughs> he actually does nothing. Like that is not a hyperbole. Uh, he actually doesn't provide anything on offense. He doesn't walk, doesn't hit. And it's just, you can't have that. And when you combine that with Miles Straw and Brandon in the lineup when he's not hot, you've got like a black hole of three hitters. You basically have a six-man lineup, and you're not going to win games like that. I don't know what to add about Cam Gallagher. I don't remember one play he made this year. I really don't. I watched every Guardians game. I can't remember one play. Nick Melee had a home run last year against the A's. I remember stuff like that. I can't tell you one play Cam Gallagher made. Can't. Can't do it. He doesn't impress you. In fact, I think the backup catcher should be David Fry. End the story. Yeah. I think I should really move on from there. Um, I'll give one last name. I do agree with Miles Straw and Oscar Gonzalez. <sighs> this one is a name where people would be like, really? That's being too harsh or blah, blah, blah. But I'm saying this because it's time to move on. They need to trade Shane Bieber. It is time to move on from Bieber. I think he's actually – have felt at times in 2023 like he wasn't a part of the club. He's almost acting like he's already out. It, I'm saying this not because he's not talented. I'm saying this because it's time to flip it for a bat, make a trade, and go. So that's why I'm saying Shane Bieber. It's just time. It's time for him to go. Um, if it would have ended differently, I might have a different answer. I don't. Uh, Bybee's there. Williams is there. Logan Allen's there. Quantrill, McKenzie, and you have another guy named Espino right behind him. I'm good. I've seen enough. Um, I thought Bieber, I thought acted very strange this year. Um, I think it's time to move on from Bieber. Yeah, the injury's tough, and I wouldn't be upset if they decided, you know, we need to bring him back. It wouldn't make me upset in the least. I know. And right. Bieber's been great for us, but we have been so unfortunate. Like the, the roster construction of so many of those playoff teams, we made it to the playoffs on our pitching and typically went far on our pitching, but let's look at what the Tampa Bay Rays did this postseason. Oh yeah. Played two games because when you can't start, you can't start all five guys. And so you don't need five stud pitchers. I know you get to his, I mean, Aaron Savali didn't throw an inning. He didn't throw an inning for the Rays, And so you don't need four to five aces. You need, you've got your headed beat by me and Allen or by and Williams. That is your one, two, those two are they look like they should be great. 
Tristan McKenzie, when he gets healthy, we know what he can do. Logan Allen and Quantrill are fine as your four and five. They're not starting playoff situations. They're just relievers at that point. So, yeah, if we, we really could use a bat, and Bieber's not going to get extended anyway, and this is no. the front office that likes to let guys walk. It's time for him to go. Again, it's just time for him to go. He's already acting like he knows he's gone, so let's just help it. If he doesn't want to come back and the Grinds aren't going to pay him, we need outfielders. Let's trade Bieber. Again, this is not because he's not playing well. It's because it's time. Mm-hmm. Time to move on. So you heard a bunch of names there. I think these are the names that are going to stick out. I'm going to do one more topic, then we're going to say goodbye. If you today, Tony Camino, said our starting sharp stop for the Guardians of 2024, who would you pin? That's a tough question. I'm really high on Rokio eventually, but I think because perfect, what should have happened this year, it should have been Arias against righties and Ahmed Rosario against lefties. <laughs> so we should be Arias against righties and Brian Rokio uh... against lefties until – they can really, it's maybe because like Rokio is, it's going to take a lot for someone else to take that spot from him. He's the top prospect in the organization. He can hit. We saw when he's down, he's got a great glove. He plays good defense. He, I think it's his job eventually. Maybe it's a platoon with Arias to start. I'm still wouldn't be upset if it's Tyler Freeman though. He came on when they actually gave him time. I would probably say Arias starts with the majority out of spring training, but there's a lot of time till then. Rokio! I am ready for the Rokio experience. And I have been hearing about this glove. So I'm going to give one observation. It's the only reason why I'm hesitating on it, but I'm just too... I like Rokio's bat. I love his bat. Love his bat. He has not played well defensively in the major leagues yet. So I'm just going to say, I'm going to leave it there. He's had moments. Look at his defense numbers. They're not he's good. Pl- he's play- He's had some really mind-blowing plays at times, though. Like There's been things where it's like, wow, there's probably only 10 guys in the league who can make that play. But he's making plays, too. He's had some errors. He's had some errors in big spots. Yeah. So I, I got to see more. I, I, I know what Tony's saying, and I've seen some of what Tony's saying. I've seen a guy that will make some errors, and he's made more errors than Freeman and Arias does. But I'm here on this position with shortstop. I don't know what to say else about Gabriel Arias. I just don't know if it's there. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Freeman, I need to see more of. Um, Arias needs to see more of. But Rokio's got a spirit and a spunk. It is time to pin him in at shortstop. It is. Even when he makes some errors once in a while, I think those will go away. Mm-hmm. I really do. Um, but boy, he had some errors. Oof. But all that to be said, he does have a great glove when he's focused. And I and by far, it's not comparable. Rokio's bat's far better than the other two. Sorry, Arias has the most pop for sure. If you I, look at if you look at just pure hit hard hitting the ball, he he really matches right handed pitching. He just cannot hit lefties, which well, is very odd. So maybe he's a platoon guy, and that's fine. I was gonna say you're, it's the old PH. That's, that's I'm I'm that's, <laughs> that's not a bad role to have. He's could be a no. weapon in that role. No. So that's what we see going forward. Okay. So Miles Straw, if you watch us, we're sorry. We love you, but, you know, got to go. SpongeBob, you made me laugh. You did. You That whole year made me laugh. Uh, Cam Gallagher, can I have said any better than Tony? And, again, my idea with Shane is I don't want to see Shane go, but it is time to go. And the Guardians need to get another outfielder in here. So they need to trade him to get help. It is due. Yeah. It just makes too much sense. Tony Camino is there. He does all sorts of great articles on BelieveInTheLand.com. He does all sorts of great work. You'll see it all throughout the offseason, too, on our Cleveland Guardians. I'm Andy Billman. See you next time.